Uh, this is my 1986 Honda Prelude. Special edition. It's pretty cool. It's just a little project car. Uh, it's two liter fuel injected, all that. Basically the top of the line. The colors are kind of different. That one looks, that side looks more yellow. Well, that looks more like new paint in 1999. It hit like a deer and there's a little dent on the hood. So that's kind of what that's from. It's kind of big. Um, I'm not sure when, but a bear kind of jumped on the hood. You can barely see the scratches on the hood right now if I move my camera, but they're there. Um, so I'm probably just going to replace the hood because, you know, the dent scratches. But, yeah, it's only really visible in light. The interior is pretty cool. You know, it smells like cigarettes and the 80s. It's baking hot in here. The door panels are off because, uh, you know, that window motor doesn't work. I'm working on it. And, uh, the glass is staying up by a wood block. So, yeah. But the interior is really cool. It's got like a nice brown kind of interior to it. On the shifter, it is a manual. So, it's pretty fun. Uh, the glove box, it was closing, but I guess it just kind of gave up. So, it doesn't anymore. Um, it also has no cup holders at all, which is a big, like, iffy part of it. Because, you know, you got that. And you got this as well. But, uh, yeah, no cup holders. So, yeah. Um, for my model here, um, like, the horn isn't there. It's just, like, these three buttons here. It's kind of weird. So, not sure why they did that, yeah, but it's kind of cool. Um, AC does work. Radio works. Uh, it has 182,000 kilometers on it. So, pretty cool. Got a sunroof. Has a little tint on it, but pretty neat. Um, it also has some pretty cool headlights. They kind of go up and down. They look really neat. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah. They're pretty funky. I, uh, go back in here. There's a little clock here. Um, which is really cool. You can set it to, like, whatever... Uh, so, it's pretty neat. The dash is super awesome. Like, it's all really flat and small. Um, there is no armrest in this car, which kind of sucks, but, I mean, it's a manual, so you're kind of busy with that. Almost like bucket seats. They're really different and really comfortable to sit in. And they also got this little bar here to hold up the headrest, which is interesting choice, but it's pretty cool. I got these really crappy floor mats in here, um, so they look like crap. Um, one of the worst parts about this car is the uh, back seat. It's got like really strange little seat belts that kind of just come out of the thing there. Cigarette holder, whatnot. Another really awesome part of this car is surprisingly the trunk space. Just open it here. This has a nice little rubber spoiler with like emblems on it. It's nice and squishy or something. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Um, it says Prelude on the taillights, which I really like about it. Here's the door panels. Um, this would be the driver side. Um, so they're pretty cool. They got like AC going in there and to the windows even. Got the other one right there. Um, so yeah, it's not too much about that. And then there's also another really cool thing about this car. Where you can just pull the back seat part down and it goes straight into the trunk. So you can like put a bike in there or something. I don't know. 
but yeah it's surprisingly good car it runs pretty well I'll probably put some running clips of it at the end of this video since I don't want to start it right now pop the hood it's really really cool because uh, it kind of opens backwards you could say yeah okay but yeah, it opens like this it's really neat um, the valve cover was painted black originally but it was badly peeling so I decided might as well just like scrape it off so it used to have peeling just like a spot in here a spot in here but I really didn't like it and I'm planning on repainting it black it looks really crappy so it's not the greatest I had to replace the battery so there's that you know fuses and whatnot in here nothing too exciting uh but yeah it's really neat how the hood opens like this it looks really cool in my opinion um it's fuel injected so you know it's pretty neat i'm not sure if you can see the marks better on here probably can yeah there it is you can kind of see. looks pretty cool the hood's really long so it's pretty nice um so yeah um yeah it's really neat uh but yeah there's lots of problems with this car that i need to fix like uh the peeling here on that gotta replace it the grill front bumper needs a respray because it i don't know looks like it just went through winter or something kind of a bunch of white spots on it um and then this little uh thing here is cracked right there so that's not very fun uh but yeah it's got some nice little stripes on the side uh custom rims i have no idea what those are but they're kind of cool um one of my favorite parts about this car is the back of it because it just i don't know it's really different it's got like a really big long tail light says prelude in the middle uh nice little rubber spoiler there so yeah the rear bumper kind of sticks out quite a bit which is really awesome uh it's got a custom exhaust it's supposed to make it quieter but it really doesn't uh makes it louder if anything um not sure why they put mud flaps on the rear since the prelude is front wheel drive uh doors are pretty long like pretty big doors you can yeah, you can even see the paint difference on camera um yeah i don't really know what else to say um i'm not sure what mods i'm gonna do this thing i might lower it probably gonna paint it a different color like i'm thinking blue or black or maybe even red um but yeah it's really neat uh the uh rear window trim is missing it's only on that side no idea why um i'm not sure if it's leaking in there or not but it's i don't know probably got to go to a junkyard or something to fix that um yeah it's got like little details right here but yeah it's got a lot of really cool little things like the fenders aren't even flat like they just stick out a little bit it's awesome it's really neat it's really cool because they kind of just like go flat and bend right out so looks really cool so yeah Um, the headlights, it's daytime right now, but I can turn them on. Oh, it also makes a little dinging sound or something when you have your high beams on the doors open. They're not too bright since it's daytime, but it's pretty neat. Got a little side lights there. Um, but yeah. 
Uh, sometimes the hazards won't turn off half the time. Like, you'll put them on. Some, like, yeah, even the dash lights aren't even on for them. But they're actually on. It's hard to see. Uh, sometimes it won't even stop. Not sure why it does that, but, you know, it's pretty neat. Uh, the brake lights are pretty bright. Uh, but yeah. Not really too much else to show. Uh, I gotta fix, like, this there. Same thing on the other side. Uh, fix the window. The rear window trim as well. Um, but yeah, I gotta fix a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a fun project. A fun ride. It's a really fun little car. Sounds awesome. It's like a nice little inline four. Um, so yeah. Just a 80s chipbox, basically. I'll just put up some like running clips and random videos they have of this car up for the rest of this video. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah.